A very good day to all of you. In the lesson today, we are going to talk about how to write a product review. Product review will be one of your assessments. It will be a written assignment in which you will select a product and you will write a review of that product. So when we talk about product review, it is similar to what we normally see as a movie review. So in the movie review, you can see that um, the author of the review will talk about the movie in detail. So for example, the author will talk about um, the plot of the movie, um, the actors, the actresses, um, what is interesting about the, mo the movie, the storyline, the climax, uh, the conclusion, the end of the movie, uh, the cinematography, um, everything in every aspect to describe the movie and then in the end of the review um, the movie reviewer or the author will decide whether it is a good movie based on his or her personal opinion or it is not a good movie as compared to other movies of similar um, of similar genre so uh, other than movie review there are also other type of reviews for example book review so when you have a book review um, the author of the book review will similar like um, a movie review will talk about uh, how good the book the novel or the academic book is um, so the author of a book review will describe everything about the book uh, from the front page, the design, the color, um, the storyline, uh, the chapters, um, uh, the continuity of the story, um, the impact of the book to the readers, and um, a lot of other things that can be described. Um, so that is a book review. And then in the end of the review, an author of a book review might decide whether it is a good book or it is not a good book and whether or not people should buy that book or shouldn't whether or not people should watch the movie or shouldn't so let's say when you are you plan to go to the cinema to watch a movie but you don't know what kind of uh, movie you want to watch um, so what you do is you go to the internet and then you type the, the title of the movie and you try to find a movie review of that particular movie. And once you have read the movie review, you can decide whether you want to watch or you do not want to watch. Or maybe you should find a different move, movie to watch at the cinema. So uh, movie reviews, uh, book reviews, they will help uh, the readers to decide whether the movie or the book is good is worthy to be bought uh, should should be read or should be watched or no so the same goes to product review so it will help people to uh, decide whether um, the product is good you know, there are many products in the market there are uh, uh, a lot of different brands uh, that people can buy so people need uh, to have uh, to to read uh, to listen or to read to a review to decide which product is best for example smartphones so there are a lot of different uh, brands for smartphones and this different specs uh, different sizes uh, different functions so uh, when when people want to uh, buy a smartphone before they make the decision what they need to do is they need to um, read or listen to a phone review so they can decide which is better according to the price that they are willing to pay so even if you are an entrepreneur if you are a business person you do a product review as well but you try to promote your product so let's say you are selling a um, um, a tumbler for example again a tumbler for example um, so you describe why this product is better than other product 
because it is long lasting, it is durable. So remember the adjectives that we talked about last week. So you can use a lot of adjectives to describe the product uh, to make it look interesting. Uh, the same goes if the product is not interesting as compared to other products, uh, you can use adjectives to describe why it is not uh, interesting. So the adjectives like tiny. Uh, small so it sounds negative for example um, but it can also be positive if it is easy to carry it is small and easy to carry so that means it is a positive things you can put in your pocket uh, the design the taste um, the color the size uh, the weight uh, the shape everything can be described so um, where do we find a product review so normally we find a, rock, a product review uh, in a report in a newspaper in a magazine uh, on the internet um, in a or, or in a program for example if you have watched um, the television uh, programs like wow shop and uh, go shop for example um, so so these programs what they do is they conduct a product review so they describe the product in every way that is possible they say why it is good uh, why the other product is not good so they make comparison so people can see um, so that is what we call as product review um, so they give their opinion so it can be biased it cannot be biased as well if it is your product it is okay to be biased because you are trying to sell your product if you are suggesting your friends or other people to 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 make a decision which one is better then you can be neutral so in that case you be a neutral product reviewer instead of a biased one if it is your product then um, you lean toward your product why it is better as compared to other products but when you are uh, being neutral because both are not your products you are trying to tell the people your friends which one is better um, either iphone or samsung which one is better so you're being neutral so you can make a neutral product review uh, saying uh, the good things about uh, the samsung phones and the good things about the apple iphone and the bad things uh, the strengths and the weaknesses so you make a comparison so um, as consumers uh, we frequently rely rely on product reviews to provide us with insight into products or services quality function and usefulness um, so as, as i mentioned just now there are thousands of products uh, hundreds of different brands of the same product uh, electrical product electronic products uh, furniture is um, um, a lot of other uh, mechanical products, uh, automotive, uh, motorcycles and cars, everything. Um, even um, flight tickets, when we want to purchase a flight ticket, we can compare uh, between two or three airlines. So that as well would depend on the product review. Going to hotels, so which hotel to go, which hotel to stay. Uh, so the same thing we will try to find a product review a review of hotels and places to see to compare which is better so we frequently do that so we can do that as well we can ourselves we can produce a product review to help other people so let's say we have gone to uh, a certain country which uh, in which not many people have been to or a certain place in which not many people have been to um, so what we can do is we can write a review of that place in terms of the accommodation, uh, places to eat, places to visit, um, <clears throat> what uh, souvenirs can be bought. So those things you can write in a, in a Facebook post, in an Instagram post. If you, even if you have your own website or blog, you can do that as well. Um, so let's say you have bought something new you have bought a um, a new phone for example a new computer so you can write a product review as well suggesting whether or not people should buy 
or shouldn't buy the same thing so that will help people to choose if you are selling your own item then you can write a product review but you say why your item is good as compared to other items so that is what we call as product review so product reviews can share information from your own experience that will contribute to the larger body of evaluative commentary already in existence um, so this sentence this point means that uh, whatever that you talk about as a product review whatever you have written will contribute to the library of review so when people want to search they can find the review uh, the strengths and weaknesses of the products that they want to buy or they that they want to pay for if it is not a product it can be a service uh, for example which barber shop which uh, saloon the, uh, you should go uh, there are many saloons in uh, kota baru for example so which one is better so that will again depends on the product review that people have written uh, and posted in the internet so it will help people and a balanced product review will point out the pros and cons of a given product or service so helping your readers to determine whether or not it's the right one for them so it will help you when people write it will help other people when you write so a balanced product review is important so that means you cannot be biased unless you are selling the product then it is okay to be biased because everyone uh, who is selling a product they will be biased so if you watch on the tv of course they will say their product is good because of certain reasons so, so the same goes to you if you are a business person if you are an entrepreneur um, of course you compare your products with other products and you say why it is good for people uh, to buy uh, your product um, of course that is what you do so now the question is how to write a product review so um, in the previous semester back in school uh, last time um, you have learned on how to write an essay so there are many types of essays narrative essays argumentative essays um, a lot of um, different types of ACs, even report is type of AC as well. Um, so uh, product review is another type. So what do you normally have when you are writing a product review? Of course, uh, in any AC will have introduction, the body paragraph and the conclusion. Um, for a uh, product review normally what we have is uh, of course the description of the product and then um, we you compare your product with other products or you compare the two different products if it is not your product then you can compare the two or three uh, different products products with each other so you make a comparison with other or similar products and then you give a rating um, from 1 to 5 which rating would the product be so if it is 1 that means uh, 1 star for example that means it is not uh, that good if it is uh, 5 star according to you that means it is super um, if it is 4.5 uh, 3.5 or 3 stars so like hotels uh, 5 star that means it is very good uh, 3.5 uh, that means it is uh, just average if it is one or two stars maybe not uh, that um, interesting and then you end your essay with a conclusion so um, when we are writing a product review it is um, a good idea for us to keep in mind uh, what we need to do um, so uh, first uh, you need to cover several basic um, important pieces of information like um, what what the product or the service does uh, so what the product is about what what is the function so that is very important if not uh, people might not know what uh, what the function is um, and then uh, remember to be specific by including practical details like the price the size uh, the shelf life the shelf life is the durability uh, for example, if you are talking about something with a battery, for example, uh, a computer, um, so how long can it last? Um, 
maybe five to eight hours and how many years maybe um, seven to eight years um, so the shelf life so anything that relates and be sure to also identify the target demographic and the benefits uh, to the to that demographic of this item um, so what does this mean so the demographic target is uh, to whom the product is going to be uh, is going to be targeted to for example when we talk about um, um, phones so maybe um, uh, people from uh, 20 years old until uh, 50 years old if you are talking about um, um, Apple uh, computer so maybe the target group would be professionals uh, students if it is a uh, maybe a lower spec of a computer maybe um, students because they might not have a lot of money so the the target group um, if it is a um, a type of computer game so perhaps the target group would be younger people uh, so uh, for uh, those similar to a traditional laptop in appearance and size the kit computer v16 is designed to provide the preteen crowd with their first computing experience so you see the target group is mentioned preteen so that means younger younger kids younger people um, so the computer is suitable for them and then the other thing that is important when we are doing a product review is to do comparisons uh, provide more information why you think the product is different and has more advantages compared to the others so there could be two or three other products of similar nature so you do some comparisons if you find any weaknesses be sure to state the weaknesses as well and um, be balanced in products pros and cons so you be neutral uh, your likes and dislikes uh, because you want your review to be to be a good review so that means you have to be neutral unless you are selling your own product then um, it, it is okay to be biased and then uh, when you are doing your conclusion you give your um, final opinion on the product uh, whether it is good or good suggested to be bought or not suggested indicate your reader, reader whether or not in your opinion the pro product delivers on its promises for example um, uh, the company says this phone can do a lot of things but when i've purchased the phone it cannot do it. maybe the camera is not that uh, very good or some other problems so finally offer a summative and evaluative statement so summative means summary evaluative means your your decision whether um, uh, that indicates whether or not you believe the product offers a good value so in the end i think it is not good or in the end i think it is good so but you make in a in a good sentence for example overall this is talking about the hotel um, overall the regalia hotel does not deliver on its promise of tranquility tranquility means peaceful so if you stay at the hotel um, and world-class hospitality so it is not really world-class so while the staff was friendly and the view of the mountains stunning the noise from adjacent rooms combined with the hotel's inability to provide us with a quieter accommodation left us wishing we had chosen differently when we booking when booking a suit for our honeymoon so that means uh, you put in a sentence like that so it does not deliver on its uh, promises although some other things are good but these things are not really good so we we prefer to stay at a different place or we prefer to buy a different product or a different brand so in your uh, product review what do you need to have um, first you need to have the introduction paragraph uh, so what would the introduction paragraph look like um, so this would be an example of uh, your introduction paragraph if let's say you are reviewing a website so you see nowadays there are many websites available for people to learn from one of my favorite websites is uh, lyricstraining.com is great because you can learn English while you listen to your favorite songs you choose a song and then listen to the song complete the lyrics 
you can also watch the video of the song if you are reviewing a product so you can see nowadays there are many uh, smartphones available for people to learn from or nowadays there are many uh, pen drives for people to choose from one of my favorite pen drive brand is uh, Kingston for example so it is great because it is small um, and you can easily keep in your pocket um, uh, so a lot of other things and uh, the size is very big in a uh, although the physical size is very small but uh, the memory size is very big so that means uh, so the, the, uh, that is how you can uh, make your introduction paragraph uh, nowadays there are many um, products available for people to choose from so one of my favorite is this or that it is great because this and all that so that can be your introduction paragraph um, you can also see that uh, I am I am glad uh, to review one of the most popular products today which is um, uh, any type of a smartphone or any type of uh, any any product so I'm glad to be able to do a review of this product or well, I am very happy uh, to share with you my experience of using this or that product so that can be your introduction so it can be in one or two sentences uh, no longer than that but it can, it can be longer but one or two sentences is okay so first is the introduction paragraph uh, second paragraph would be the physical details of the product uh, so it can be the color the size the the anything that you think is related um, the thickness how thin it is uh, the weight uh, how many grams how many kilograms um, uh, it is made of aluminium it is made of glass plastic um, so there are a lot of adjectives that you can choose from and then uh, the third paragraph you can talk about your own experience so what is your personal experience of using that product what do you think about it and then in the first paragraph uh, comparison with other similar brands uh, different brands of similar products a uh, fifth paragraph your recommendation whether people should buy or shouldn't buy and last paragraph is your conclusion um, so what do you have in a conclusion as we mentioned just now uh, whether uh, the strengths the weaknesses uh, the pros and the cons everything um, uh, but in your comparison uh, you you also mentioned the pros and the cons everything but in your conclusion that is the finalized version of the pros and cons and why people should buy and why people uh, should not buy the product uh, so the conclusion paragraph is the conclusion of the recommendation the conclusion of comparison the conclusion of your experience so in your last paragraph what you can say is this uh, for example to sum up or to conclude i think this is an excellent website or i think this is an excellent pen drive or i think this is a good phone as it is up to date and you can do this and that uh, with the phone and the camera is very good everything so you, in your last sentence you see I would recommend this product uh, if you are looking forward to have a good uh, photography experience or I would recommend this smartphone if you are looking forward to have a good uh, photography experience because the camera is very good and um, uh, you want to do this and that so this is an example of a conclusion paragraph uh, so this is what you have in your conclusion paragraph indicate whether or not in your estimation the product delivers its promise um, so this are the things that we mentioned just now um, so those things that you have in your um, product review introduction physical details your own experience uh, comparison recommendation conclusion and lastly you can put the rating so from 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 what is your rating for that product or uh, you can also combine your recommendation with the conclusion paragraph if you think they are both similar so the fifth paragraph and the last paragraph can be um, in the same paragraph so you can put your recommendation in your conclusion paragraph and no need to have 
a specific uh, paragraph for recommendation um, so um, I guess that is all about uh, writing a product review uh, thank you very much say see you again in the next lesson